Hey there, I'm Brandy Lynn. And I'm Tracy Ebert. Welcome to our channel. Unpopular. Unpopular, if you've not hung out with us before or seen our channel, is um, just a channel where we want to chat with you about popular topics in a way that the world views as very unpopular because they relate back to Jesus. Always. Right. right. So we want to talk about getting comfortable with the uncomfortable and fear we want to talk about Doing fear. things afraid yeah and if you watched our last post we're sitting in this car and we were going to do a mom wrap but we decided not to but we're on a roll we got some topics we want to talk about so we're going to keep going yes um okay so fear so Tracy and I are going to kind of just list off we didn't even practice this or think about it but we're just going to kind of spew out some fears because if you do know us in real life Mike. um or in business yeah. I think a lot of times women think that this might shock you that we don't have fears or that we're comfortable with everything and um, I just want to tell you that is so all right you start okay what's something that scares you so something that actually scares me that people or makes me really uncomfortable that people don't know about me I get so nervous to talk to people in um, like different social settings so I'm actually more comfortable if I'm on a stage addressing a whole crowd of people than I am to walk off the stage and go talk to people individually because I feel like an idiot. What am I going to talk to you about? Oh, do you know what I'm uncomfortable with? Is when I'm in a room of people and I don't get to talk to everyone. So it's <laughs> reverse because I feel like they might think, one, I'm stuck up and I don't want to talk to them. I know the fears that women face. Mm -hmm. I hear it on a daily basis, but I, I fear that maybe they think I don't like them or whatever, but... In all honesty, at the end of the day, like, if I'm in a setting like that, it's really whoever, like, my path crosses with. And it's crazy. So I always get, I'm very uncomfortable sometimes that I missed somebody and they're going to think for some reason I didn't mm -hmm. talk to them. Yeah, and so that leads me to, um, I do get really kind of, like, nervous about what people think about me. Um, not everybody, because I'm okay knowing that everybody is not going to be my people but when it's like a group of people that I want to view me in a certain way or um that I want to have the respect of I really do just like Tracy was saying like I don't want people to think something about me that isn't true and um and so that's always something that kind of is a little bit of a fear I guess for me on well, something else I'm uncomfortable with is um I really have, when she was saying, like, the way that in a group setting that people think of you, I get that way, like, individually because, let's be real, I'm back to the whole thing with women, it's hard to have a solid friendship anymore, I think, in just the world because the world is so desensitized that it may be okay to come and talk to Brandy, but sometimes, and she doesn't do this to me, I know she doesn't, because we can just say it to each other I don't know what she's about to but say. like won't run and go and talk to somebody else mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. maybe discussions that we had mm -hmm. and to me that's a fear not that I sit and talk about stuff but to be able to have a really good solid friendship and know like you're on the same page mm -hmm. um, because I a fear I'm going into the next one if okay. of mine is my own strength I don't know if you've ever done the strengths finder but I have a fear of my top strength and my top strength is significance Yikes, for me to even say that is big because when I heard it, I was thinking significance. I don't need my name in a spotlight, and that's not what it's about. But it does go back to now I see why I'm very cautious walking into friendships, and I'm very cautious, like, in group settings because I want my words and everything I do to be of significance, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So I get worried about that. So a fear for me um that I'm recognizing more and more, or maybe it's becoming a thing more and more. So I am totally comfortable talking about certain topics to a crowd. Um, but I've recently been put in positions where I'm talking about the Bible or um, scripture or things like that. And in my mind, I'm, you know, the enemy comes in and is like, Brandy, you can't do that you don't know the Bible well enough to do that. You don't really, um, you're not qualified. You're not good enough. You know what I mean? And so 
those things, like I have to take those thoughts ca captive right away and remember like that if God's putting me in a situation and trusting me to do something, um, I've got to do it. And he ha if he's called me to do it, then I have to do it. And But it freaks me out. Aren't you glad that he doesn't qualify the, wait, how does that go? Qualify the calls he, he doesn't call the qualify, he qualified, he equips the call. The called. Something like that. One day just came up with it. You all know it. I know I feel that same way. So I think sometimes the enemy, um, we're studying Priscilla Shire's um, fervent, and we have to recognize that our fear is that the enemy is going to throw those things at us all the time mm -hmm. because he doesn't want us to be who we are. He wants to wreck our identity. He mm -hmm. wants to wreck our passion. He wants to wreck our families. Mm -hmm. He wants to wreck our focus. He wants to wreck everything that he can get his hands on. And so sometimes it's just in the little things that really do matter to us. I'm afraid a little bit of trusting people. Oh, yeah. I really am someone who, um, I think it's because I'm such a loyal person, and so I expect that back. And, and I have a really hard time letting someone in my life who I don't, know a hundred fifty million percent that I can trust it's hard that these days it is and I just so hard. um and I think when 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 someone betrays your trust that that leads to a lot of hurt and soul searching and it's like that is so hard for me to and I think it happens so do. often these days it's ridiculous yeah so those are some of my biggest fears our fears are kind of deep they're not very surfacey. I'm afraid of mice. I am a terrified of snakes. I am so afraid of rodents. Your snakes can eat my rodents. No, they won't, because I'll come. I'll catch your rodents. <laughs> I caught a mouse once with a cup, and I stood there, oh. and that thing was freaking out, and I didn't know what to do because I couldn't move the cup. So I like did this like elastic girl move and got this book and slid, slipped it under, and I was walking outside, and it was shaking. I was screaming, and here's something else. What? That I'm afraid of. This one might be the longest video we did. <laughs> Who knew we had so many fears? Okay, so listen, I feel like I've seen, I'm not afraid of this. I'm just aware of this scheme of the enemy, and I'm on guard with it. And, um, I mean, I would just be full on beast mode with this Wait, one. Get it out. So I feel like that so many marriages have been just totally wrecked. Mm. So wrecked. Um, by home wreckers type of situations and so cool. Paul and I are very adamant about like if Paul goes out of town for work I go with him um, or like we're just very aware of things like that not that we don't trust each other I don't think that's an issue for either of us I have the next but topic. we're just so aware of like that the enemy just needs the tiniest little window of opportunity to sneak in and destroy everything and um so good our next topic is going to talk about mm. can you be mm -mm. friends not just acquaintances with the opposite sex and i'm going to tell you right now no no you ain't friends why with would my you husband. want to be no mm -mm. no mm -mm. that You're happened not. and i watched oh my uh -huh. gosh i pity the fool <laughs> That again, again, it has nothing to do. There's no reason that I have to not trust Paul. Right. That's not it at all. I'm not a jealous person at all. Um, but I know how the enemy works. And so we're both just very aware of that. If I were to receive a message in my inbox from a man, he's blocked. Block. I'm not responding. I'm not even going to open a window of opportunity yeah, for the good. enemy to sneak in. That's good. So what are your fears? You guys then she's on a roll. If that happened, then my husband would end up murdered and I would end up in prison, which would I would be afraid of that. Yeah, I would pity the fool, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we wanna do you know that you can comment on our video below. We wanna hear your fears and we wanna continue to hear uh topics that you wanna talk about. But next time we will talk about 
if you can be acquaintances or friends with the opposite sex and maybe we'll get into adultery she's been wanting to talk about it because i've seen it happen so much it's everywhere it makes me want to vomit it's sick maybe mm -hmm. we'll pull in a special guest for that one mm -hmm. there's a lot of people that want to jump in we're gonna let them so have a great day bye remember to be unpopular because that means you're leaning on the word of god